What's up? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do the neck stop. Now, this is a really basic and fundamental upper trick, and it's so easy that I've taught six year old kids how to do it, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing we need to do is get into position. We're going to spread our feet out slightly and then lean forward at about a 90 degree angle. Then, when you're ready, take your ball in your hands and start to place it on your neck. As you do this, your shoulders will move apart which will put your shoulder blades into place and you should look directly forward by lifting your head. Once you place the ball there, you'll notice that your shoulder blades and your head create a nice area where the ball can rest without falling off. Once you're comfortable with resting the ball on your neck, the next step is to learn how to catch it. So we're going to start with the ball on our hands again, but this time in an upright standing position. We're going to throw it up, watch the ball come down and tuck our head underneath the ball and catch it there. So as the ball's coming down, bend your knees slightly, watch the ball all the way and then just as it's above your head, tuck your head under and let it rest on the back of your neck. As soon as the ball lands, make sure you move your shoulder blades into position and lift your head up so the ball can stay there. Two things to bear in mind when learning how to catch a ball on your neck. Number one, don't throw the ball too high because if you do, it's just going to bounce off your back and you won't be able to catch it. Number two, make sure that you keep your eyes on the ball and follow it all the way down and when it's at the right height, tuck your head underneath. I see a lot of people just throw the ball up and get straight into position without looking where the ball is and they expect it just to magically land there, and it never does. The final thing we're going to learn in this tutorial is how to flick the ball back out into the air again. Once again, this is pretty straightforward. You'll notice that if you drop your body position on your head, the ball will start to roll forward. Once the ball is no longer touching your back, you're going to flick your head out and lift your knees up to elevate the ball into the air. Once the ball is in the air, keep lifting your body up and stand up correctly again and catch the ball. If you're having any trouble, just leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tutorials and check out learntofreestyle.com for loads more other stuff. Alright, take it easy guys. Peace.